All right, uh, let's see here. This is from JSTOR. Why Paul Robeson was labeled a psychopath. The son of a runaway slave, Paul Robeson rose to unprecedented heights. He was an all-American athlete, lawyer, activist, and performer, largely remembered now for his voice, his roles in the movies The Emperor Jones, Showboat, his 1943 performance as Othello. For a time, he was the most famous and respected African-American in the U.S., um, and probably the world, but after 1949, he was the most vilified American alive, blacklisted, spied on, and threatened by racist vigilante terror. terror. Uh, pulled a George Bush there and didn't, didn't, <laughs> didn't pronounce terror right. His passport was stripped by him, from him by the State Department because it was thought that his singing abroad was a danger. A strong voice for labor rights, civil rights, and anti-colonialism was rather, rather successfully contained. What happened? So what did happen? I'm not super familiar with uh, all the history pertaining to this gentleman. So here's what this article says. The Cold War happened. Performance studies scholar Tony Perucci explores how Robeson was portrayed as insane. During the Cold War, the shared critical goal of the federal government and psychoanalytical psychiatry was to eliminate dissent against American political order. Uh, sounds familiar. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? Because communists, real or imagined, were said to be so good at masking their true selves, only psychoanalysts could break through all outer falsehood of the red mask. It followed that they had to be insane to be communists or fellow travelers. Sounds familiar, right? If you question the idea of Russia collusion, you're insane. Uh, you're not a patriot. You're a Putin pot spy. You're a red baiter. You're being hypnotized by propaganda. Twitter's telling you they're looking out for you. They're letting you know whether or not you've been swayed by quote unquote Russian bots. Although other bots are totally okay. If it's domestic bots, if it's domestic propagandists, they don't care. You can be open about the fact that you're a propaganda account, i.e. correct the record. They don't care. That's domestic. That's fine. Those are patriots. People that go and relentlessly troll Anyone that's critical of Hillary Clinton, regardless their, of their reason, whether it's justified or not, um, that's fine. But if you, uh, they should close down our military bases and have them patrol. Oh my God, I will see you all in prison. We're on the slope to imprisonment. I guess we'll find out. Robeson was labeled a psychopath. The word came into common use in the post-war era because of his views on the Spanish Civil War. Um, labor, segregation, colonialism, and other issues were considered, quote, un-American. The immediate cause of his downfall was what he purportedly said at the 1949 Paris Peace Conference, that black Americans shouldn't fight against the Soviet Union. Sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Gee, guys, we shouldn't be beating the drums for World War III with Russia. You're a Putin puppet. Mm hmm. Robson was definitely a supporter of the Soviet Union, which had just a few years previously been the U.S.'s ally in World War II. He had been rapturously received in Moscow in 1934, and later he praised Stalin elusively on the dictator's death in 1953. Robson's passport would not be restored until 1958, thanks to the Supreme Court. He lived in the United States largely out of public eye until his death in 1976. His response to a question by the HUAC congressman in 1956 as to why he didn't live in the USFR if he liked it so much, he says, because my father was a slave and my people died to build this country and I'm going to stay here and have a part of it just like you. Interesting. Very interesting. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone, or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Placone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash romplacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, 
free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.